So I was given that chance and then I, yeah, I came to, came to Japan. I, I don't know any other place in Japan that is kind of like this. In Maya Maya. It's a special place. It's a coffee shop. We, okay. we serve coffee. But it's more than that. It's more than that. How do you fit in Japanese community? It's a difficult question. Well, I think one part is My friend, this is Take from Japan. Today, I have an opportunity to interview Vaughn, who owns his own cafe in Tokyo. He's such a unique person, you're gonna love him in no time. In this interview, I'll ask him about why he chose to open cafe in Tokyo, his philosophy on coffee, and his dreams for the future. On this channel, I interview people from Japan and around the world on various topics. This channel is perfect for anyone with an interest in Japan. And I have Japanese private sessions, so if you want to learn and talk with me in Japanese privately, please contact me on Instagram. All right, let's get started. Already recording? Yeah, it is. Ayo! Ayo! <laughs> Already starting! Yeah, thank you for your time. No worries, thank you for coming to Maya Maya. Can I have your name and where you're from? I'm Vaughn. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Are you living here or traveling here? It's a stupid question though. Now I'm living here. I've been living in Japan for uh, 20 years, already 20 years. Oh my God, I feel okay. so old. Maybe f I did four years in Kyushu. Mm -hmm. I did my study, my university in Kyushu. Okay. And then I lived here about 15 years, almost 20 years in total. Mm -hmm. What did you study? Um, I did my business degree mm -hmm. in, in Kyushu. I studied, I studied, uh, but I didn't really study. I went to like what? family restaurant, I went to okay. karaoke, mm -hmm. and I went to coffee shops, mm -hmm. didn't really study. You always hang out? Always hanging out. <laughs> went to Joyful, you know Joyful? Uh, joyful. <laughs> joyful, like mega high ball is like 290 yen. So yeah. good, so good. So I studied, did, did my university mm -hmm. um, in Beppu, mm -hmm. and stayed there four years, and that was my first kind of introduction to Japan. Mm, mm, mm. Why did you choose Japan mm. for study? It's a good question. Um, I studied Japanese at high school. Oh. So I was always interested in this country and I was always interested in the culture and I had mm -hmm. some yeah, connection. And then at the time when I graduated high school, the new university was opening Japan. So the name was Ritsumeikan APU. Do you know this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. That opened in 2001. I was the first student to enter that university. <laughs> So I was very lucky. I got a scholarship, like mm. a, a scholarship to study at the university, mm. a Monbushaw scholarship. So I was given that chance. And then I, yeah, I came to Japan and studied, but didn't really study. Okay, okay. <laughs> like joyful. <laughs> joyful. You know, mega highball. <laughs> right, right. So your trigger of having an interest in Japan was in high school. Right, right. Okay. I think in Australia, we have to choose like a second language. Mm -hmm. So I think some schools offer French. Mm -hmm. Japanese is very popular. Okay. French, Japanese, Indonesian. But I, I chose Japanese. Okay. Yeah. Then after graduation, came Tokyo? No, actually, after graduation, I went back to Australia. And then I did a few different jobs. Mm -hmm. And then I met a Japanese girl oh. in Australia, mm. who is now my wife. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, yeah. She... Nampa <laughs> sarita. She... Ah, uh, Little details, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not important. So, but then, yeah, we, we met in Australia, fell in love, and then she imported me mm. to Japan. Import. <laughs> 15 years ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we, we started. Mm -hmm. And now the rest is history. We have um, two kids mm -hmm. and we have three businesses, three shops. Yeah. So, yeah. So we are in a cafe, right? In Maya Maya. Maya Maya. Would you introduce this cafe? Yeah. To viewers? It's a special, special place. I mean, it's a, mm. it's, it's a coffee shop. We, okay. we serve coffee and we sell bread and we have ice cream and mm. Wine and beer and mega highball. Mega highball. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more than that. It's more than that. Mm. Um, not just a coffee shop. This is a, um, a space mm. where everyone is welcome oh. here. So we get lots of lots of kinds of people coming. Mm. Not not only just young trendy people mm. who like cafes, mm. but we have lots of elderly people. Okay. Our number one customer is Ando-san. He's mm. seventy-two. 
72. 72 years old. He dances. What? Belly dancing. Wow. He's here every day. Does he live he, around he here? He's just over there. Okay. We have Anderson mm -hmm. and we have lots of families and kids. Mm. We have we have kids as well. And you know, like being a parent mm. and having a young child is not easy. Mm. Children are crying and sometimes don't feel comfortable, especially in Tokyo, like big mm. city. Yeah, right. But we are, we welcome the kids. Mm. And if the kid's crying, I hold the kids. Oh. I, I hold the kids. Really? Sometimes they cry more. <laughs> but everyone is everyone is welcome mm. and we we get to know you mm. and then I can't explain. Every day is a new day. Mm. Sometimes the sometimes there is a dance performance. Mm. Suddenly, sometimes someone suddenly. plays an instrument, mm. or sometimes we listen to the radio together. Every day is a new day. But it sounds not Japanese-ish. True, true. I I don't know any other place in Japan that is kind of like this. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but I mean, we we are. It's still just a coffee shop, but we we want to get to know mm. our customers because everyone is interesting. Everyone is mm. so, everyone everyone can do something. Everyone is special, mm. and we, we we hope to get to know the customer and be big part mm. of their life, mm. and they are a big part of our life. It's hard to explain in words. Mm. That's the theme of this cafe. Yeah, yeah. Basically, when I visit a coffee shop mm. in Tokyo. Usually, I don't feel welcome. I don't really feel welcome. I love Japan mm -hmm. and I love Japanese hospitality. Very professional and very, you know, no mistakes. But something from the heart is lacking. Mm. Maybe in Tokyo, it's it's a good thing. You know, people are busy, busy lifestyle. But when the cust when when I go to a coffee shop and they say, I, I come in, they say, "Irashimasu, menu ご覧ください." Mm -hmm. I, I feel like they are not human. I feel it's more like a machine or mm -hmm. like a, yeah. So in a, in, I'm from Australia. In Australia, a coffee shop is usually a place for a community, oh. a place for the community. That okay. means we know everyone in the community. Mm -hmm. we, know, we know the rich people, the doctor. Mm -hmm. Doctor is coming to drink coffee. Okay. And the university students, mm -hmm. They're coming to study and they drink coffee. If in Australia we get to know the customer and the customer in their life, they they have their home and they have their job or their school and they also have us. They have the coffee shop. It, it's not like a Starbucks. It's just a third place. Thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, Starbucks. Starbucks is a third place to. I think most people at mm. Starbucks are just working. Mm. Maybe it's a working space. Yeah. Yeah, I can't feel um, this kind of freedom, or I can't feel mm. um, people are talking right. uh, like and with with new people. Mm. Community, community. Oh. I can't feel that. But Starbucks has um, a, a good, like a purpose, mm. a role in our society. In this yeah. society, we need that kind of third place, a place to concentrate and, and work away from home, away from the office. Um, and I'm also working with Starbucks, so I, I don't say anything bad about Starbucks. Yeah, I'm also one of them. So. <laughs> In, in our world, we can't live by ourselves. Mm. We can't just live alone. We need other people. Mm -hmm. So it's better that we know people in our community. Mm. We know each other. Mm. We know the name. We know each other's who who we are. And one day, sometimes little thing, but sometimes big thing, mm. we we help each other. Uh, is it the reason that you opened this cafe yeah. in the Higashi Nagasaki area? Well, the reason why we opened in Higashi Nagasaki was mm. because basically because of this place, we found this amazing location. Uh, like this location is on the corner, mm, lots of mm. windows. Um, this area is actually used to be a very artisty oh, like area. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, it's called Ikebukuro's Montparnasse. Montparnasse is art area in mm. France, in yeah. Paris. So there was a long, long time ago, there are lots of artists in this area, um, manga artists. Mm and musicians mm. and near us in, is Ekoda, so mm. there's um, some art art schools. Uh, so this is this used to be an area where people like art, art and culture mm. was generated, mm. but actually there's not any spots where people gather. So my wife is an architect and she did some research mm. and we thought that the place that we want to make and Higashi Nagasaki's culture or, or mm. history, it could be a good match. Mm. And there's no Starbucks in this area. Yeah. <laughs> so we are the best. We are the best coffee shop. Mm, no competitors. No competitors. You're the only one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, so we and we open 
from early until late, mm. open from eight o'clock in the morning mm. um, until 8 p.m. and later on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm. open until 10 p.m. So we open all day and everyone is welcome. Mm. Then you open the Maya Maya in like, Higashi Nagasaki. Yeah. And I suppose this is so difficult. I mean, to open the new business in Japan because the local community have to accept your new challenge, right? But actually, I am the one of the customers here. Yes. I see you socialize the, everyone from Higashi Nagasaki <laughs> and every customers. My, my question is, how do you fit in the Japanese culture, Japanese community? It's a difficult question. Well, I think one part is I've been here a long time, like long time, 20 years in total. And I really respect Japan. Like I respect, I, I have so much, I love Japan. I love the, the streets are always clean. The train is always on time. In Australia, train is not on time. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't come. Really? Train doesn't come. Very, very punctual, very, and people respect each other. Like, especially people use the Keigo honorifics to speak with elderly people. Mm. And society is, has so much peace and, and mega highball. <laughs> Today's keywords. <laughs> um, everyone in my really in my twenties, I've never met a bad person. Like mm. I've never. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is so lovely, and everyone has good manners. And I open the shop, and the way the Japanese people use this space, mm. like I'm, I'm, I, I get very emotional because it's it's such a special country. You know, during 20 years, I have a deep respect for this country, and it's not my country. Mm. It's I'm a foreigner. My my wife is Japanese, and my kids. I have two kids. I'm so lucky mm. that I'm in this country. I think it's a utopia. I really think it's a perfect country. And we learn, I learn a lot from Japanese people. Like I lost my wallet three times and it came back to me three times oh. with all the money inside, all the money inside, but not that- I'm proud of. Yeah, I so good. I changed, you know, we change, humans, we change depending on who we are around or where we live. Mm. We, we adapt, I think. So I changed. Mm. I, I don't mean I steal before and now I don't see, I don't mean that. There's a lot of, a lot of things changed after, over the years. So I have deep respect for this country and I, I'm very lucky that my children are here. And then I, I also know that Japanese people are just a little bit shy at the beginning. It's a charming thing, but after they relax a little bit and talk and they we can we can understand each other more and everyone is beautiful. So at Maya Maya here, like we know everyone. We know everyone's name, we know their hobbies, we know their news, we know their yeah, and every it's this place is full of lovely people, full of lovely like the foreigners as well, but also the Japanese people. Yeah. Breath, your answer is you changed for the many years in Japan that led to you to be fit in Japanese culture more and more. Yeah, I think so. I think mm. so. In Maybe in all the coffee shops in Tokyo, mm. like I'm very unique owner. Like I'm very... <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm very... Um, <laughs> I'm, if the customer comes in, I'm so happy. Mm. So I'm like, hi, yo, <laughs> welcome to the coffee shop. And I remember the news because, you know, like yesterday, great, like regular customer, I called John Lennon. Jordan, not John Lennon. John Lennon, he got accepted into Beams, the, the, the fashion company. So he had four interviews. And then every time he got the, like after the interview, he came and I'm like, how's the interview? He's like, yeah, good, I think, I'm not sure, but I tried my best. Okay, good. And then he got the result and he told us and we're happy, of course. And yesterday he got in, after the fourth interview, he got accepted into Beans. It's amazing, it's so mm. good, it's so good. It's a big, big part mm. of his life and it's a big part of my life. Maybe I can get discounted at Beams. <laughs> <laughs> joking, joking, yeah, yeah, no, joking, okay. joking. But you are everyone's father, community father. Yeah, I'm, I'm still like, the shop is still young, st mm. the shop is still a baby, three years, but we're growing every day and we're meeting mm. such, a, such lovely people. So I'm, I don't know what will happen in the future, but I enjoy meeting everyone, knowing everyone, and meeting you also. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> me too. So let me ask you your future goal. The big, the big dream is mm. we want to like kind of develop this area. Mm. So we, we don't want to just make just the coffee shop. We want to make like a city. Mm. We want to make a place where this is a kind of a great place to live and a, and a, and a great destination for people in, in, in Tokyo, in Japan. People yeah. want to come to Higashi Nagasaki. Mm. 
Because when you think about Nagasaki, you think about Kyushu, yeah? Yeah. We are not Kyushu now. Mm -hmm. This is Tokyo. Yeah. But not many people know Nagasaki. And the reason is because there's not really anything here. There's nothing here. There are some great local restaurants and we made a map on our website so you can mm -hmm. see the introducing some local spots. But they're, they're very, yeah, very old and very, um, yeah, good, good for the local area. But we also want to make this area, you know, we, we have a coffee shop now. Before there was no coffee shop. Now there's a coffee shop. Two months ago, our regular, our John Lennon mm. opened the Italian restaurant. Kadota? Kadota, yeah. Mm. I, again, the area now has a great place, handmade pasta, natural wine, and, but no mega highball. <laughs> he should have. Yeah, I know, I know. I would tell him again. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, it's a great place. Mm. It's a great place. If you come to Higashi Nagasaki, mm. you have to come here and you have to go there. Mm. You will see him. He's making pasta on the street before he opens. On the street? On the street, in front of the shop. Wow. So people, kids are kids are going past and they are seeing the pasta being made or elderly Japanese people on the bicycle, they go mm. past and they are, you know, they have an interaction mm. in the city. Mm. Not just a closed, not just a dark kitchen with a chef we don't know, but he's he's out on the street. So yeah, we have a good coffee shop and we have a good restaurant. Next, we are making a hotel. Hotel? Yeah, you're going to check in to the hotel here at Maya Maya. Oh. And we're going to give you a tour of the area mm. and breakfast is here mm. and dinner is at Kadota. Kadota. Wow. So that's the next step. And then this area probably needs many other things. Mm. There's there's no bar, there's no mega highball, you know, or there's no um, like we need a co-working space. Mm, mm, mm. We need and, and it, an area needs many things, mm. you know, so we there is not there's nothing here. Mm. We want to make this area. Yeah, we want to put it on the map. We want we want it to be a destination mm. with our friends and with our customers who like who support us and who like us we want to make this area the best in Tokyo a magazine came yesterday Popeye and they said Nagasaki maybe 10 years from now mm. is the next Shimo Kitazawa the top guy of Popeye said that wow. but I'm, that's what I'm I think 10 years from now mm. people will watch this video yeah. after 10 years and go oh my goodness <laughs> came true yeah. yeah yeah there's a there's a few places in Japan that we learn from there's a place called Shozo Coffee in Tochigi and there's a place called Senkia mm. in Saitama mm. in Kawaguchi. The the way they did it is a little bit different but in that area there was nothing mm. and the coffee shop made a community like a whole city. Amazing stories. Mm. So you are the one in Higashi Nagasaki. We are the one. I made the amazing coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> coffee is coffee is always more than coffee. Coffee is mm. not just a drink. Mm. It's an amazing drink but it's much more than just a drink. The conversation over a cup of coffee. The, it's a conversation or it's uh, the artist who drinks coffee and then writes something. Artists, lot, lots of Japanese artists like Dazai-san, he, he spent most of his time in kisaten, mm. riding in the coffee shop. Or a coffee shop also changed society. Like long time ago, the kisaten, it used to be a place where people talk and debate and, mm. and demo starts. Mm -hmm. And so it, coffee is not just coffee. Coffee is more than coffee. So we, we are trying, trying. I feel the philosophy yeah, from yeah. here. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Even if you didn't, please like it. How's your today's interview? I hope you enjoyed watching. All right, I'm wrapping up today's video. I'll continue interviewing strangers on the street. So if you have any questions you want to hurry, please leave it in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and my Japanese private session. See you in the next one. Cheers. Mata o.